Welcome back to The Vocalist. Today we are listening to Brooks and Dunn. I have been a fan of these two for quite some time. They are incredible musicians, performers, entertainers, but let's be real. We are here to talk about Ronnie Dunn's voice because it is just out of this world. So today we are listening to a live performance of My Maria, and I believe this is from 2005. My Maria Don't you know I've come a long, long way I've been longing to see her When she's around She takes my blues away Sweet Maria The sunlight surely hurts my We're going back. I I don't know why I thought I I don't know why I thought I would just be talking about his voice because even just from the very beginning, this entire song, as soon as you hear that intro, you know exactly what song is playing. Um, let's go back to the beginning, and we're gonna we're gonna slowly break down vocals. Here we go. <laughs> Okay, the moment he starts singing, he's got such a gorgeous timbre. Um, it's it's got like a brightness that you can recognize. Um, it's still very full, but yeah, he's like the king of ping. If you if you've seen any of my other videos, like that that ping that you need to like really cut through and like. Oh, it's just so stunning. Um, also, the two of them duetting, love it. I, uh, Kicks, he, I mean, he's a singer, but obviously doesn't sing as much in this duo, but it's always lovely to hear him and to hear the two of them and how well they blend together. Um, okay. Sweet Maria, the sunlight surely hurts my eyes. Right there, that hurts. He is so great. Well, of course, we hear his head voice later on. So great at doing like yodels and really flipping quickly between your, you know, TA and your CT muscle. And so hearing that on Hertz, you can sort of get a little taste of that, that ability. The sunlight surely hurts my eyes. So one other thing I'll mention when it comes to head voice for the male voice, oftentimes it becomes lighter or we, a lot of singers associate it with sort of like a weaker sound. One thing that just I love about his voice is how present and how strong his head voice is. It is just so immaculate. And so when he flips between registers, like we don't get any dynamic change. It's still just as loud and full, but we get contrast in terms of um, like texture, which I love. <laughs> There was some blue and sorrow turns. 
about the sorrow, you get a little bit more of that twang. Ah, oh, it's so good. There was some blue and sorrow times. Now just my thoughts about you bring back my peace of mind. Gypsy lady, you're a miracle work for me. You set my soul free like a ship sailing on the sea. You can hear when he goes up just how well supported he is. Yes, he has a higher range to begin with, but if he was not utilizing his breath pressure there, it would sound strained, maybe even a little thin, and it's just so full and boomy and lovely. So we're going back. You're a miracle work for me. You set my soul free like a ship sailing. At the end there, when he said away, I love how he sticks with one vowel and he just like locks it in and we get this gorgeous sound. If he tried to sing through all of the vowels in away, it would just, so many sounds would be happening, but we get like this really gorgeous, like steady, consistent tone because he just picked one vowel. My lady. You could hear during that little ad lib toward the end how he got a little rougher with his voice, which I liked. Um, man, it's just such a gorgeous tenor sound, like the sort of sound you would typically hear maybe in like in a barbershop quartet or like an acapella group. But it's so I this, they were just so ahead of their time because the way they incorporated his voice with these songs, like it's just mm, brilliant, just brilliant. And again, excellent musicianship, incredible performers, um, and very entertaining to watch. But ultimately, like, you just could really pick out, like, some great singing. And I think that's why a lot of people were drawn to them when they first came out, like, in the 90s. So, anywho, <laughs> that's it for today. Thank you guys so much for watching with me, and hopefully I will see you next time.